a lot of we had a Q and A session after her talk, and sh and uh, most of the questions I was laughing to myself, and I and I kind of I, I tried not to interrupt because they were the same questions that we get about marketing or sales or whatever, which is you know, and all the questions were basically summed up as. Uh, can you give me a three-step process that I can follow to achieve X, Y, Z? Yeah. And most of Shannon's answers who, who were- Who's that, like designers, engineers? Everyone in the room. Okay. Everyone in the room. It was salespeople, engineers, uh, designers. Everyone was basically asking for the same thing. Give me the secret formula to get X, Y, Z. And Shannon was saying, uh, would come back and say, well, sometimes it depends. Yeah. Sometimes that's an art. That's actually an art. That's not like a you know a hard and fast rule. And like sometimes you just have to make a decision. And like yeah. it was all these things that we talk about in a different context, but it was the same lessons, right? Yeah. And people, no matter how many times she said that, the next person would raise their hand. Everybody and say, wants like, the cookie what's the cutter, next? Like, give yeah. me the three steps to X, Y, Z. Yeah, done. Yeah, there aren't. There just aren't. You've got framework that <laughs> yeah. you can use as your guide, but mm -hmm. um, I think also like just knowing how to break the tools and being pragmatic about when to apply the tools to the yeah. kind of project that you're working yeah. on. Like, I know you guys are working really fast here. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, do you eat all of the elephant at once and like and and try to you know try to incorporate like you know uh, like everything you know yeah. this all of this change at once, or do you just to, like take little pieces and say, oh, I'm going to do proto personas and see how that works yeah. and like pilot that out and see if that's a good alignment. Mm -hmm. Tool. like not doing it all at yeah. once I think is is you know can be what is your what moments. is your answer to that like how would you answer that uh, I think we talked about it after which is uh, I think the answer is and this is the answer that Shannon gave which is in the elephant kind of metaphor which is you have to take an incremental approach you can't go all the way to and I think you know uh, someone in the audience asked you know like well we basically it was a leading question it was like <laughs> Tell DC to <laughs> let us do X, Y, Z. Well, we wanted to do research, and we wanted to hire some people to do research. And basically, we wanted to have this giant process, introduce, change everything the way that we work. But everything that the way that we work is working, but yeah. we just want to change all of it. And But uh, someone over there where I was sitting, <laughs> and that over there <laughs> said no. Therefore, we can't. So, how would you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How could? How would you go about? Shannon, do you have an idea? Just ask. How you could, hypothetical. Hypothetical <laughs> for how you could do oh this. God, you, and I was just you sitting can't there. Screw up this question. Yeah, yeah, then. just listening. And her answer was, "Well, you start with a little bit. Just do an incremental approach, and then you build on that, and you build on that. And that would be my same answer to this person. But often, people, uh, wherever they are, they just want permission to go." No, we're just going to do 100% the other right. way. Right. We're going to go off for three weeks and brainstorm. Yeah, and hire 15 people, and then gonna, we're going to have a new research process, and we're going to change how we do things. And it's like, well, that's never – who's going to agree to that? I think again, it's about it's just making sure that you can you can carve out little pilot, um, yeah. little pilots for yourself, and 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 prove it internally, totally. and then build on the success. Yeah, yeah. And there was one slide at the end, oh, no. uh, which uh, which no one actually had a question about, but it will be the most brought up one. Uh -oh. Do you know which slide that was? No. Okay. Do you know which slide it was of your slides? Uh, the is it the one about goal-centered design or no, goal-driven design? No, no, no. Okay. This will mark this. Write this down. Oh boy. Make sure mark this will this be the. History. This will be the number one thing that's well, brought up after record. this talk. It's on the record. <laughs> on the record. Now. And it is the. It was a slide that said sometimes you have to slow down to oh. speed up. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I no knew you were going to say question, that. But I was just watching. I was like, hmm, yeah. okay, here we go. Let me. No, everybody ignored that question. Months. Well, Shannon said Shannon sometimes said you down. have to slow down. Okay. So what does that mean to you? That means that we just come to a stop. I'm slowing down. We just down. stop. I'm going to slow down. But you I didn't slow, slow down. down. You just stopped. No, but Shannon said that we'd slow down. Oh, Remember? No. Let's call Shannon in. <laughs> Shannon See, said we slow good. down. This is right? good. And you we guys were, we spend more time. Therapy. And we were having this show. This whole show is therapy. Mm. And we were having uh, this discussion uh, after the talk and saying that same thing with the example about the feedback that people want this binary answer. Mm. They want either we are going to do feedback and user-centered research around the way that I want to do it, that I'm proposing. But if you say no to my exact way to do it, then that means you say, we don't want to research it. Right. And it's like, no, we didn't say we don't want to research you. We just said we're not going to do this big project. And if we say, there's nuance, is, in other words, and what if, yes, we should slow down sometimes. That doesn't mean like now we have permission to like, we just stop everything because Shannon says sometimes you have to slow down. Yeah. And so <laughs> I mean, you know, mark what, that down. What, what, can your, what can your organization absorb? Yes. Um, what, that's a good way to think about it. What do they have a palette for? Yeah. Um, and, and it seems like you guys have a palette for quick tests. Yep. Um, so that's probably how I'd approach it. Yeah, Every because, culture is different. Because yep. there's really, I think the thing that we, that we do a lot, which is like, 
even when you say the word quick test, I think that means something different to us than uh, what people think. Sure, sure. People even think quick test means like, okay, well, I'm going to get, okay, fine. I'll get a group of five people and I'll test them for two hours. And we're like, yeah. no, for us, a quick test is like, tweet it. Did anybody respond to your headline <laughs> yeah. idea on Twitter? Okay, sure. maybe this is good directionally. Sure. Or spend a hundred bucks with a Facebook ad and see, is anybody clicking on this thing? Like there's always some yeah. level of like something you could do in five minutes yep. that I think yep. people just gloss over because like, well, it's it's either one or the other. It can't be both. Yeah, well, it's yeah. it's not binary. All right, we <laughs> no, are. I think people want permission to do what they want to do, right? So well, they they, they have an idea. They have a solution in their yes, head. Yes, exactly. But, and you touched upon that in your talk. Yeah, um, it, yeah. I guess I guess it's just kind of like you have to you have to kind of see what what the company will accept. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and what, what the context will accept. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah.